Good morning. Welcome to Warrington and Watley Rocks, except I'm up here at the roaches at the moment. It's a very high view from up here. Anyway, this morning we've got Lynn Parker. So let's have a Bible reading and then over to Lynn. The Bible reading today is from Luke chapter 18. And Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, In a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea, Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, Even though I don't fear God or care what people think, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice, so that she won't eventually come and attack me. And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge says, and will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice, and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our parable this morning was about the persistent widow. And I want to ask you about persistence in prayer today. Are you persistent in prayer? Do you keep going when the going gets tough? Or is it easier to give up? We can all feel like that, can't we? When prayers don't get, get answered the way we want. When people disappoint us and we walk away. When people die when we've been asking God to save them. Life is too difficult. The world is going mad. Let's just bury our heads in the sand. I mean, what has the situation in Ukraine and Russia got to do with us? It doesn't affect us personally. Or does it? The fuel bills are going up. The food banks are helping out so many people. Mortgages are going up. The cost of living seems to be spiralling out of control. Politicians disappoint us. Our grief at the death of the Queen and the way things seem to be going might make you feel like what's the point. We hear in our first reading from the second book of Timothy that a time is coming when people will no longer listen to the sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear. I'm going to tell you what the point is. We could be like the judge who doesn't care. I mean, does it matter? It certainly does. God created each one of us to be a child of God. We were created in our mother's womb to be the one who shines God's love into the darkness of the world. No matter how you feel, when you chose to follow God, accepted Jesus as your saviour, the Holy Spirit came into your life and is a part of your makeup. In God we live and move and have our being. Acts 17, 26. He is the Father who comforts all our troubles. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 3 to 4. So we need to be persistent in our prayers. We need to continue to show God's love in every place we go, into every situation that we pray for. God says, I am your greatest encourager, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 16 to 17. So if we are not drawing close to God and being persistent in our petitions to him, how can we live the life he intended us to live? So like the persistent widow in our parable today, you must remain faithful to the belief that you will see better times coming. God's got this. He sees what's going on. He hears the prayers that we pray. He knows how our hearts feel. Even the judge in this parable sees this in the end. He becomes aware of the way the woman keeps on, keeping on. He realises that in the end, the only way he's going to get any peace is by granting her request and she gets justice in the end. Hallelujah. So model yourself on the persistent widow. Keep your prayers continuous, continually day by day before the Lord. 
As you walk in faith, step by step, believe that he will answer. It may not be the answer you want. He may delay answering, but that means God has a good reason. As we continue to pray and wait, we grow in character, faith and hope. The important question in all of this comes at the end of the Luke passage, though. But when the Son of Man returns, how many will he find on earth who have faith? If you have a candle near you and you believe that your faith is strong enough to be persistent until that day comes, I would love you to light it and recommit yourself to a life of prayer. God is waiting for you to have a conversation with him. He already knows the things on your hearts, the injustice which is going on around the world. If the judge in our parable cares nothing for God and man, gives in to this woman, then can I, how can our God, whose promises are faithful and true, not respond to us? If we know he loves us, we can believe that he will hear our cries for help. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Jesus told us to be persistent and to never give up. Help us to be faithful to your word and to draw close to you each day with our praise, petition and prayer. Help us so to trust in your love, open to your truth and walk in confidence to, in the salvation of your son. Amen.
Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen.